Hello everyone, this is Rick Durden for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. I'm reporting from Vacaville, California, the home of Icon Aircraft, where the A5 and Light Sport Amphibian is manufactured. And now I'd like you to meet Greg Zachney, the Director of Flight Training for Icon, who will tell you about the airplane. Everything you see on the airplane is purpose-built to, uh, to, to manage that st spin resistance. We don't say it's an anti-spin airplane, or it doesn't, we won't say that it actually won't spin, but it has a spin resistance that if you put pro-spin inputs into the airplane, it will not spin in that situation. Now, the VGs on the airplane are, are, are an added feature to help increase that spin resistance. There's the vortex generators uh, and a couple other different features on the airplane itself that actually allow the airplane to have that spin resistance. The, uh, the important feature of that is the actual uh, the wing cuffs out there and you can see they almost are kind of like slats uh, always extended out there so they give us the ability as the airplane and as, as the wind over the wing in that stall uh, slows down we have those wing cuffs out there that actually always keep that wind flowing over the ailerons it gives us flight control gives us control of the airplane in that slow speed environment and so even when the airplane's in a stalled situation we can fully cross control the airplane because those wing cuffs and the wings are designed the way they are we can cross control and add pro spin inputs into the airplane and still not have it uh, enter a spin um, and then all the way down to the uh, AOA indicator uh, which is a, is a uh, phenomenal feature that uh, we bring from the military. So we always know how hard the wing is working. Plane. So we talk about the, uh, the Rotax uh, fuel injected engine that has uh, that dual uh, electronic fuel control two lanes in there that gives us a redundant safety feature in the airplane uh, that makes us as pilots feel comfortable. We get down to the uh, landing gear. Uh, it gives us the ability to land on runways uh, and then very quickly get up to the lake if we need to, which is uh, a fun feature of the airplane. So a couple two-step process, basically. Uh, we basically unlatch uh, underneath the wing there. We just unlatch the locking mechanism. And uh, once we do that, then we can pull the wings out and then we fold them. And then we just kind of fold them back behind the airplane. Super simple to do. And then you'll see back behind there is the, uh, the pins that the, the wings fold up into and they lock in place and, uh, and away you go. So super simple process that uh, that's everybody's uh, able to do. We fly with the windows out when it's hot. In fact, we fly with the windows out almost all the time um, because, uh, because we can and it's fun. And, uh, but we do add the, uh, the wind deflectors there because that uh, uh, keeps our spin resistance capability of the airplane itself. So that's the only thing that we do different when we pull the windows out as we put those wind deflectors in. This airplane is built to fly low across the lake and slow and just enjoy the atmosphere and enjoy the everything that's going on and, and having a great time at the lake. It is, it is absolutely the perfect airplane to do that and it's super fun. The controls are light and perfectly uh, balanced uh, for, for fun flight and uh, it's just a great airplane all around to fly. It's